fish, 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 fish. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Right Bill, 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 Bill. Get it, get it, get it. I got it. Somebody fight that fish. I, somebody I get it, grab it. I got it. I got it. Oh steady, my God. steady, steady, and smooth. That was like four bites at once. I know. That was insane. Ready, Carl? Almost. I'm going to switch the sides. Back, move you to me, right. You want me to switch with you? No. Nope. Just right there. Move down. Move down. Lift up. Lift up. Nice. Steady, steady, steady. Ooh, nice one, too. Because we got the double. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. That right there is Chinook limit. Oh, my God. It was uh, four bites. We hooked two fish. And, well, we hooked four. We only landed two. Yeah. It was absolute pandemonium. And there's the result. And this was Potsky fire gel, I believe. Yeah, it right. was actually. Well, this uh, Chris actually caught this one, but as you know, he does not hold fish. It was awesome. Kind of hectic there with a the double, but uh, we got them all in the boat, and what an absolute tank. It's got to be close now. Yeah. Right. The boat. He's going under the boat. Reel down, reel down, stay on it. Real capture line, nice and steady. steady there it steady. is. Reel, reel, reel. Another nice one. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Woo! Florence, Florence, Oregon, guys. Florence, Oregon is the place Woo. to be. Look at that Face monster. Wild. Look at that monster. All right, so we're fishing the Sayuslaw River, which is out of Florence, Oregon. Um, headwaters of this river are way up near Cottage Grove in a town called Lorraine. It's a pretty big estuary. Historically, it's got a great salmon run. Unfortunately, last year they did close it. Not sure why they thought maybe we didn't have enough fish, but this year it's open. Um, the season limit this year is one salmon a day, two a year for the Chinook. And then we actually have a retention on coho starting September 15th, and that's one a day, one a year. Usually, it's a two salmon per day, uh, 10 per year, but uh, in Oregon, it changes every year, so we'll take what they give us. Is right there down, Jackson down. here? No, no, it's not. Rod down, rod down, rod down. There you go. Back up a little bit for me. Good. <laughs> steady, steady, steady. Reel down. Reel, reel, reel. There you go. Now lift up towards me, nice and steady. All right, it's, way, it's way bigger than I thought it was. All right, so we're fishing uh, Fall Chinook right now in Florence, Oregon, and it's a small river. Um, the technique's pretty simple. We're using a, a 10, 10 and a half foot rod, a mooching rod essentially, and we're using a 360 flasher. Um, these are short busts, locally made, I like them. They work pretty good. And then uh, a 24 inch bumper. So we have this bumper that between the weight, and you'll see here, I got a, this one has a 12 ounce lead, and then we have a slider. And the slider here is kind of nice because it's got a little notch in it that when it's in the swivel right there, it d allows it to not twist up the line. So it kind of buries just like that and you don't get line twists because when we have something that spins, it's, it's important. Um, 65 pound braid is kind of what we're running for our main line. And then uh, this is an 80 pound bumper, 24. Um, behind the flasher, we're running two types of baits. Let me set this down really quick. We're running, um, Brad's super baits and uh, spinners. And the super bait looks like this, pretty. This is actually, uh, um, I forget, mango something, but it's badass, I like it. Um, five aught hooks, um, five beads, and my leader length for these, 32 inches long. Um, what I like about the super bait is you open it up and then we can put our bait in. You can see I got a little bit, but we'll go over the bait here in just a second on what makes this, what finishes off the lure. We see the seal? There's something behind him. It's a coho. It's it a coho. It's a coho. Coho rodeo. Bill, you are not off the board. That's the hatchery. Nope, we gotta let this one this go. This one's going home. There it is. Wild coho is gonna go home. He won't. He wanted to go. With salmon, guys, scent is important. So I use uh, the fire gel on the spinner. So again, we're using the spinner. And where to apply it comes into question sometime, you can see here. So you got the squid. I like to pull the squid skirt back. 
Um, here's anise right here. Anise fire gel. I also got salmon fire gel. And then the one today that was really good was the anchovy. Kind of like the match the hatch, you know what I mean, for scents. And uh, we have anchovy and herring out here. So, but uh, just show you with the anise, kind of what I do. A little bit goes a long way. So, gonna take a little bit here on the finger. And I got gloves on, you don't need gloves. But I apply that to the skirt on the spinner, just like that. And then uh, when this thing rests, you can see it. Not that we don't need it covered, but I think it doesn't interfere with the blade or anything like that. And we mix it up and then uh, it's important. I personally, between usages, I like to clean off the other stuff when I'm adding another scent. And that's pretty simple. I carry a little brush with me with a little lemon joy. That's kind of the move out here. So I can clean that off to add if I wanted anchovy or not. But this stuff lasts hours. I mean, really, if you only had a little bit, it goes a long way. You can see how it's on that. It's just a lot. There you go. Oh, that took all of five seconds well, after we set the rods. He should be hooked. Let's get those in. Somebody can grab the net. Not very often do I get a fight of fish, so this is kind of nice. Get Not ready yet. There you go, get it. Oh, look at that. There we go. You're hired. Look at this fish right here. Big old coho. Nice river. Gotta let it go though. There, there we go. go. <laughs> All right, well, we got it. So, this mango habanero, that's the color that I'm looking for for this original super bait. It's from Brad's. Um, it's kind of a simple program. I have a, I use canned tuna, you can see right here. What makes this, it's in oil, so it gives it a binding property, which I like. And then uh, we got the powdered firepower in it and then liquid krill I put a lot of krill and you can see the color of that it's got that really red color to it and so when I'm using this I, I grab a little bit here out of this and then I stuff I stuff the bait like that and then we close it up and then they, they, they come with a little rubber band that goes over it just like that you can see those holes so when it's trolling it just the scent comes out of there I put a lot of krill in my bait, and I'm telling you, I think it works. Fish, 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 fish. fish. Oh, God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Guys, we gotta get that other rod in. Somebody's gotta reel this one in. Oh, not, not ready. Everybody's gonna come in. Just yeah. like that. Oh. oh quite, quite. He wasn't ready. Got him. Folks, and just like that, an hour and 15 minutes, we've got one, two, we got our six fish Chinook limit on the Oregon coast. This fishery couldn't be better than it is right now. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Well, as it would have it, the guide got the smallest one of the day, but I'm not gonna complain with this key. It's another fish, it's our limit fish today. So pretty good. The fishery is really good. The peak of the run is now, so we're September 11th. Um, the whole month of September is really good. The river opens August 1st and actually goes till the end of November. But the peak of the run is essentially the middle of August to, I would say, October 15th, October 20th. And then I start, I fish it till then, and then I start transitioning to upriver stuff with bobber and eggs and kind of follow the fish up. But until we have a major rain event, we're going to be down here in the estuary trolling for fish. So what makes this river unique to every other river that I fish in Oregon is the accessibility to the fishery. I mean, if you look behind me, we got right here, and then right here we have the pier and Old Town Florence, which is nice. We're actually got our limit of fish today. We're at the dock. We're gonna walk and go get breakfast, and then we're gonna go back out and do some crabbing. So it's really nice. We got a crab shack right there at the end of the dock. We have uh, storefronts, a nice wine bar across the street right there, and everything's close. And it's actually 50 minutes from Eugene, Oregon. So. Get into this river is nice. You can fly in if you're from out of state or come on in and visit. Um, got great beaches. Uh, Florence is just great. And unfortunately, the fishery is a short window, but it's a good window. Weather's generally nice. We have a nice marine layer today, but that's just because it's the Oregon coast in the summertime. But um, it's my favorite place to be. Of all the fisheries in Oregon, this is it.
Podsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Podsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Podsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.